Welcome back to It's Tuesday, February 18th. I'm J-Mo. And I'm TJ. And you're watching THS TV. Lots of congratulations today. You might notice a lot of red today. That's because their Rangers are wearing red to red out Terry High School in support of our Lady Rangers varsity basketball team. They defeated the Lady Bulldogs Friday night, 56 to 51, making them the 24 4A area champs. Good job. Good job. Leading scorers were Jordan Matchett with 18 points and 17 rebounds, Crystal Reed with 13 points and 14 rebounds, Lala Robinson with 13 points, and Atlanta Thomas with 11. The Lady Rangers are headed to Cy Ranch tonight to take on the Tomball Cougars for the quarterfinal game. Good luck, ladies. We are so proud of y'all. Yes, we are. Hats off to Clayton Gordowski. He showed his heifers at the San Antonio Livestock Show. He placed second with one heifer and fifth with another. The stock show is open to FFA and 4-H students from all over the state. There are over 2,000 head of cattle at the show, and Clayton earned second and fifth. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Congrats, Clayton. Congrats. And now for sports. The boys' basketball team is headed over to Stafford tonight. They're taking on the Friendswood Mustangs in a Region 3 by district playoff game. The JV and varsity track teams headed down to Port Lavaca over the weekend to participate in the Crazy Crab Relays. The results are anything but crazy as they racked up wins. Stephen Foster won first place in the long jump and in the high jump. Matthew Williams earned first place in the pole vault. Azinde Shavers earned first place in the discus and second in shot put. The team of Kelly, Dorsey, Medine, and Ortiz won first place in distance medley. The team of Washington, Fawcett, Thomas, and Alexander won first place in the 4x2 relay and second in the 4x1. The team of Shavers, Wade, Dorsey, and Phillips won third place in the 4x100 throwers relay. The team of Chavez, Kelly, Cobbin, and Fawcett won second place in the 4x4 relay. In the varsity division, Vontae Davis earned second place in the triple jump. Donald Dorsey won third in the high jump, and Grant earned third place in the pole vault. Jimmy Lopez earned second place in the discus throw, and Ronald Smith earned third in the shot put. In the throw was 4x200 relay, the team of Roberts, McLean, Reed, and Inhosa earned third place. What an incredible tournament our track and field athletes had. Congrats. Congrats, guys. The boys' varsity soccer team took on Fort Bend Marshall and won 7-2. Players earned goals were Alex Resendez with an assist by Juan Avalos. Juan Avalos earned three goals with assists from Norberto Garcia, Martin Mendez, and Alex Resendez. Martin Mendez earned two goals with assists from Bernardo and Juan Avalos. And Pedro Ramirez earned a goal with an assist from Roy Rocha. Goalkeeper stats were Jose Morales with four saves and Francisco Soto with one save. The softball team opened with losses to the Maid Creek Lady Rams. The varsity lost 16-2 in five innings. Leading hitters were Alyssa Sanchez going 2-2 two two with a triple and scoring a run. Alyssa Ramirez went 1-3 for three and a double and scored a run. The junior varsity lost 10-4. Sheridan Wien went 2-2 two and, two and scored a run. The soccer team is hosting alumni game tonight. A JV tennis team is playing Wharton tonight. The freshmen are headed to Baytown. And now over to DeAndre for some college information. Thanks, Jonathan. Tonight the College and Career Center is hosting a FASA information session from 6 to 8. You and your parents are invited meet in the auditorium. The representative from the University of Texas will welcome you. Then you'll head to the computer labs where you can get information on filling out financial forms for you can go to college. You'll have a chance to win a Chick-fil-A card, too. If you can't make it, remember, there's a second financial aid day on March the 1st at Lamar High School. This Saturday, Terry is hosting the ACT boot camp. The session is from 8.30 to 3.30. These kinds of seminars are usually $250. The district is committed to improving test scores, so they're making this program available for just 50 bucks. This includes two books, 27 practice tests. Click on www.testprepseminars.org. Find Terry and pay online. You can also bring a check or money order for $50 payable to test prep seminars and bring the envelope with you on Saturday. You'll also need a pen or pencil, highlighter, calculator, and lunch or a snack. And I'll back to Jonathan and them for the joke of the day. Thanks, DeAndre. What's Frankenstein's favorite ice cream flavor? I don't know what. Chocolate. <laughs> 
Happy birthday shout outs go to Xavier Hinojosa, Jackie Connor, and Brianna Morales. Don't forget, there are star and ELC tutorials today after school. Check the posters around school for exact times, subjects, and rooms. Ranchers success is also open. The end of the six weeks is Friday. Check your grades today and make sure your report card is looking good. Don't go home hungry today. Remember, the law enforcement is selling pizza in the front lobby for just a dollar a slice. Class of 2015 is meeting after school today in room 119. Here's what's on the menu for tomorrow. For breakfast, it's breakfast bagel, pizza, or cereal. For lunch, it's chicken tenders or turkey fritters. It's teriyaki chicken on the international line. Our SAT word of the day is humility. This means modest or meekness. Our inspiration or thought of the day comes from Eric Butterworth. Don't go through life, grow through life. And that's it for today, Terry. Good luck to our athletes, and we'll see you in the gym.